Hello. Now I'm, this is the, the last video on um, evaluating the performance. And uh, now what I'm going to do is, uh, with JMeter, I just check uh, how the web service, uh, what is the behavior of the web service in terms of performance and load. But now I would like to observe the execution of, these, of my service and see which part of the code uses more resources. So why, where is the, the performance uh, cost? Okay, so what I need to do is to run it, okay, and observe it with the profiler. So the profiler I'm going to use, you can install it in, um, you, you, you can install it uh, in um, IntelliJ. I'm going to use the Sync profiler because I have a, a Linux a Mac OX machine, okay. But you need to pick the one you, you, you can uh, install, okay. So after I've installed it, it's quite easy. The only thing I need to do is basically to do what? I need to create a Spock test that I create, I, I, I define it as get course execution service Spock performance test. And in this test, I create a course here, and then I create 1000 course executions, okay? This up to is groovy for a cycle. And each course execution has a different acronym. So I just edit here the, and the, the index of the, um, the cycle so that they have different names, okay? And then I do, I invoke 10,000 times our service, okay? Which I want to measure the performance. The reason because I do it um, one, once 10,000 times is for two reasons. The first one is that when you test the performance of something, you should run it several times so that uh, you warm the machine, you warm all the caches and so, so that you can get the real behavior of it, okay? Usually, sometimes, some of things, you may have pre-compilation and stuff like that. So, run it several times. Why 10,000? Because this runs quite fast and this software is, is going to run in the, in the middle of a lot of software. And if I run it only a couple of times, so it's, it's going to be min, my, uh, less than 1% of the, the CPU time. And then it's going to be difficult to find this. So uh, to run it 10,000 times is going to be 50% or something. And then I can go directly to the point where I, this is being invoked and see how, 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 how many resources are being used. Okay, so let's start to do it. And so the only thing I need to do is to come here and run with CPU profiler, okay? This is gonna take a while, okay, to run, but I'm gonna observe, basically, is gonna, the profiler is going to create this, okay? So let's wait a little bit, please. So it is running, and while it is running, you can use another tool that is interesting to observe what is occurring in the machine. So is the start visual, is the visual VM, okay? I have launched it already here, so, but the icon is there. And basically, you see the different applications that are running, the different processes, and you choose the process you want to observe. So in this case, it is GUnit, because Spock actually uses JUnit to execute. So I choose this, and then I can monitor it, Okay, and look, is the arguments is running, PT, Lisboa, Technic, Social Software, Administration, Service, Get, Course Execution, Spot, Performance Test, okay? So it's actually observing what you want. So I can, I want to monitor and see that is using the CPU, is using the machine. Look, this by itself tells me nothing about uh, the performance of it, but tells me something at least that uh, is not using all my resources, although is trying to do its best. Why is not using my, all my resources? Well, because probably it's special. It's, it doesn't use the multi-threading and I have a multi-core, so it's not using all the cores. So most of the, my CPU is doing nothing, okay? Um, and of course, this, these values are a bit, uh, you take, because I'm running in the, in the same machine. To do this correctly, you should you monitor outside the machine where you are running, because actually, this is the CPU is being used for other reasons, okay? So that you can also observe your memory, how memory is being used, okay? So, and you can see, but actually this is observing this virtual machine, okay? But um, you can see the garbage collector, 
okay? So you see merge and then garbage collector. So th you can see the work of the garbage collector while, while you are running. Then you can see the threads you have inside, okay? This is the main thread, okay? And you can see sampling the CPU, okay? And, and you can see which methods are being invoked more. more. And we'll see that most of this is GDK and then a lot of Hibernate stuff, a lot of, of Hibernate, which probably gives me the first hint is that this, this takes time, but most of the time is accessing that, is using Hibernate to access the database. Okay, uh, probably one thing, if I really want to optimize, that would be a tough decision, but if you want to optimize, do not use Hibernate and do a direct access to the database. Sometimes you need to optimize something, you just uh, forget about the layers, but uh, just do it when you really have to, uh, have to do it, because uh, if you don't, it's better that you keep Keep it and uh, because actually you don't have a performance problem here. So, but that's an example. So, hey, the problem is in Hibernate. Is all these layers that are between my code and the database. So let's not use Hibernate. But then the code will be harder to maintain. Blah 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 blah. You know, the problem with that. Okay, and I can observe the memory as well, and I can observe which classes actually are being using more memory. Look here. Course DTO. So course DTO is relevant, yes, because actually I'm getting course DTOs, okay? So my course DTO is using a lot of memory. I'm generating course DTOs and probably they are being garbage collected because every, each query, each time I invoke the service, I, I, I create 1,000 course DTOs. So here they are using this number of bytes there, okay? So you can you can observe this, okay, and okay. Let's wait a little bit more. Okay, now we are ready to see the last part. And the last part, I when it finished, took the test. So we ran the ten thousand times. These these are the accesses to the database. Okay. And I go to the profiler and I can observe the results here. Okay, and now I can see where the CPU is being. So I, log, I go there and see 65% of the time it was inside the J unit and 30% we in, inside this. So that's where our code is. So let's observe. Let's try to find our code there. Okay, so I just change this to show percentage of total time, so percentage of total time, I, I need to open this and to find where my method is, okay? So you can do a search as well, but let's do it this way, so that you see most of the time was here, okay, good. And let's see what I have here. Look, I, I'm already in PT, technical, social software tutor, and get course. So this is the test, okay? And so, okay, and most of the time is gonna be in Okay, I think we are almost there. Okay, look, this, are, this is my, my service that I'm going to test. So it was in, invoked the number of samples, okay, that were observed. And um, look, you have administra administration service get courses and we'll see now you can change to see, let's consider this as 100%, okay? So you can just show percentage of parent. I say 50 is under percent, 99% is in find all. So let's see what is find all. So I jump to the source code, 
So this is the, 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 the method we are, or the service we are checking the performance. And as you see, as you see, look, find all it's here. What is this? Well, this is a hibernate method that basically gets all, all the information for the database. So the information we have seen before it drives us to the same conclusion. The overhead is using hibernate to assess the database. So that's, uh, that's the, the fate of software engineering is that uh, as, as soon as you get a more uh, high level code that uh, makes development quicker, you lose on performance, okay? But uh, I'm not gonna get rid of Hibernate because of this, because uh, this is great most of the time. And then I, what I'm gonna do, I measure performance. If I really have a problem in one point, okay, then I will, I will pay maintainability or modifiability for performance, and then I will change the code, and I will do a direct access to the database. I do whatever is needed to have the performance that is required. But uh, I will do it if it's necessary, because I, I, I really love to have all these layers that basically allow me to do quick development and to uh, have code that is uh, free of bugs or that has much less bugs than I, I was working low level. Okay, I think that you learned a little bit uh, how to address this, so that's, that's the way, okay? Uh, we'll talk about this, but uh, first write uh, clean and good code and uh, don't think in, about performance, okay? Just write code that uh, is good to maintain and then profile. Profile where you need and where you need you just focus on performance and then you may pay the price. But as I told you, software engineering is a trade-off, okay? So choose the right trade-offs in the right moment. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this, okay, maybe, and I hope that you, you're gonna use it and uh, you write good code and good performance code and with good performance where it is necessary. Okay, good work.